I am in my guessing geography stance. Seltzer in my hand. Ah, here we go. Game has started. I'm trying this theme out uh, called official, well, rulers' official residences. Um, <clears throat> we'll see how badly I do. Um, I don't know what ruler lives here. Seems to be a Korean restaurant with at least uh, Cyrillic. Is this actually uh, Moscow? Or is this another? Uh, this does not look Moscowian at all, to me, honestly. But I don't know what else it would be. So. I'm getting very disoriented here. <laughs> See, yeah, this might just be like... I feel this is uh, Mongolia. But... I need to see that one letter. Like, one of the couple of letters that could potentially be on a uh, <clears throat> Mongolian location. But the problem is... Uh, I'm not seeing it. Oh, yeah, there's the flag. All right, so, yeah. We're here in Ulaanbaatar. Scroll way in and try to find... I'm sure it's, like, in the middle here or something. I'm sure it's not the statue of Marco Polo. We're going to put ourselves there anyway. Uh, yeah, how we doing? It's, um... Tuesday when I'm recording this. Uh, very exciting. Uh, nothing new over here. Um, thank you all for watching on Monday. The very exciting <clears throat> history and rambling on of me talking about North Dakota. Um, yeah, that Monday slot seems to at least be planned out for a while. Um, wondering what to do once that's done. Granted, I'm only in North Dakota, and then we go to N, Oklahoma next. I don't think there's another N state that I'm forgetting about, which I happen to do quite a lot. Oh, cool, they do have a, oh, I guess that E is a uh, O, or like a U. Interesting. All right, I'm, I'm guessing. I think I got it. Uh, we were <clears throat> next to Grand Kong Irish Pub. Interesting. Presidential Palace. Maybe if I paid attention, I probably would have seen that. But anyway, it's, uh, this is lavish. Looks to be either central or southern, uh, South America, I mean. This could be Mexico City. We're going to walk a little bit. Maybe see, apparently, a switchboard. No tocar. Don't know what that means. That is a... Uh, what are they called? Um, fresco? Or... F I believe it's a fresco. Let's see what this says. Oh, we're not going to. This is marble. It's very pretty. I think this is probably Mexico City. But we're going to slowly make our way to the front. Maybe it's not. Um, but that's as far as we're going to go. Hmm. This giant blue and white flag makes me think of one of two potential places. It's either Argentina or Nicaragua. I think I'm going to say we're in Nicaragua. Let's see if I'm right. Okay, what's the capital of Nicaragua? It's, it's probably Managua. Because it's got the circle on it. So I'm just going to say that this is it. <clears throat> if it's not it, um, then it might be Mexico City, but I, I think this is Nicaragua. 
foot is down. Anyway, yeah. Um, weekend happened. Uh, actually went and got one of those COVID tests. Uh, the thing where they jam it in your nose, and yeah, it's 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 not pleasant, not painful, but you know, let me take a sip. Signed up online to get it done. Um. The only place I could get it done at a convenient time for me was on a Saturday when I had to drive all about an hour drive to get to the place that was doing it. Um, signed up, signed in, got in line, fill out a bunch of stuff. And then the woman's just like, all right, I'm going right into your left nostril. Oh, yeah, if people don't know what actually the test is. It's a very long Q-tip, and it goes all the way to your sinus in the back of your nose. They, like, tell you to tip your nose back a little bit. <clears throat> and she said, yeah. Um, don't try to flinch, but that's one of those things where, say, they do like an eye exam, and uh, they tell you, okay, don't blink or anything like that. But your your brain has been programmed to be like, someone's about to hit you in the eye. You you friggin' blink. You protect that eye. We're going upstairs. See this pretty place. Administration of Jorge Ubico. Uh, I don't see any like locations for countries, but I think I got it. Um, train of thought. Where did it go? Talking about the uh, nose thing. Anyway, yeah. The flinching. It was very hard not to. She just like, all right, one, two, three, and just went for it. And twirled a little bit and yanked right out. Now, I don't know if any of anybody else has actually got it done. This is quite the ballroom. But uh, if you've ne if like somehow inhaled, so yeah, there's the. I'm thinking I got the right place. If not, I'm boned. I guess. I mean, I've done it before. Uh, yeah, this has got to be Nicaragua. Liberty on the 16th of September. Um. Yeah, if you ever inhaled uh, soda up your nose, it's very fizzy. Fuck, it's Guatemala. I'm a dummy. Oh, well. Well, this is a... Uh, oh, it's one of these goddamn dome ones. I'm never going to get this one. Just so you know, man in military garb seems to be Central Asian. There's the flag. Oh, we're in... Uh, um, 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 Uzbekistan. It's either Uzbekistan or Kazakhstan. Fuck. Which one was it? I think this is Uzbekistan. And we're in Tashkent. I don't think we're in Nursultan. I think we're in Tashkent. I'm going to say that. And I'll put us here. Maybe actually we're over here. The Ministry of Justice, something like that, like right here. But burning sensation in your nose, that's the best way I could put it. And it lingers for maybe like two hours, maybe three. Um, and what they said was, you'll have a notification at least within three days if you've got it. And if not, you'll get it in a couple of weeks but or a week or so. And seeing how, I mean, not counting business days, I got it done four days ago. I guess I don't have it. Ah, lucky me. Um, finished up actually bottling up the, uh, I'm going to be so mad if this actually turns out to be ta Kazakhstan, not Uzbekistan. But this is quite the uh, undertaking this thing has done. Putting up all these Central Park palace things. Can I like maybe see some of these things a little better here? I don't know. Fort Museum focusing on a 14th century ruler, Amir Timur. Hmm. Uh, cider got bottled up. Put in the uh, rhubarb syrup. I don't know if I'm sold on that thing yet. He's a little bit more tinkering, I think. It's not as red as I like it, and I don't think the syrup I ended up making the rhubarb out of turned out all to be that great. 
I'm going to go ahead and make a guess because there's not much else I can look at around here, and we'll find out if I'm right. And I wasn't because, god damn it. I hate my brain. It loves to second guess itself so much. Oh well. I think this is the place where this is all very pretty, but it's never used and misappropriation of funds, stuff like that. Um, I need to see these flags better. Oh, we're in Israel. Now that's a gate. Very fancy. If it wasn't the yarmulkes on the top of that guy's head. We're in Jerusalem. Now I just need to try to find it. Israeli parliament. Let's zoom in just a smidge. Maybe I can't find it here. Excuse me. I'll click here just to say we're close, but it probably isn't here. Um, yeah, I still got like a day or two before that, uh, setter's ready to go once it is. I'll see how it tastes. And I'm pretty sure I'll have to, uh, tinker around with it. Sorry, another text. I'll try not to be, uh, distracted. There we go. All right, never mind. Another email. Don't care about that one. There we go. All right. Back to the task at hand. Let's take a look and see if I can't <clears throat> see how some of the... This looks like a military bunker in case they get bombed. Probably bulletproof glass. There's probably a reason why it's designed like this. If it'll do those S's you drew in school. You know, three lines, and then they point. It's like a Stussy thing. That's how we uh, referenced it. I'm sure other places call this something else, like the Super S or something. I don't know. We got like a little gate and a pass here. This guy's job's just, I guess, to hang out at a podium. Fan going, it's probably hot as fuck. These are very awkward looking gates. I mean, people living here, I'm sure, peer right in, but maybe they won't allow certain, only certain people to be here. Look at all these antennas. I'm sure all of this stuff here is like, no, people, well, people probably can live there, but they got to be vetted or something. I don't know. I'm sure security is very secure and cautious around presidential places. All right, we got Van Leer Institute. Maybe I can find Van Leer Institute here and then go from there. I don't know how big of a thing a Van Leer Institute is, but <clears throat> maybe it'll show up. There's Van Leer. Okay. So we're like. We're like right there. Or. No, I feel this is probably it. I think I got it. I think I nailed it. Let's find out. You give me 5,000 for that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Another panorama here. Oh boy. This one. This one, I don't know. It's going to be hard. Seems like a pagoda style. Well, um, fancy hats with a tie. Anything on these umbrellas? They like using umbrellas here. Hmm. I'm just looking to see if someone's got like a bag or a backpack or something. Hmm. Nothing. Okay, so. This isn't a very good photo. We're here in like one of these places. Um, I don't think we're in Japan. We could be in Beijing, but I don't really think they would allow Google Maps to take photos of the place, but I don't know. Maybe we're in South Korea. I don't know. I think this is Taiwan. Maybe we're in Seoul. I'm going to take a guess and say we're here. But the problem is I can't read Korean. 
It's a very large park, though. I'll just say we're here. Maybe take a quick look, since I've got some time to try to maybe find out where this is. You've got an armband on, but there's nothing on it. Could this be like Vietnam or something? See, <clears throat> I don't know. That guy seems to be doing a tour of some sort. I don't know. Excuse me. It's goddamn hell, sorry, I gotta stop drinking it. No one's got like a, I'm a tourist in such and such a place here to tell me where it is, but this photo has been very sketchily sewn together here, and there's a lot of missing stuff. But I'm going to stick with South Korea is it, but I would not be surprised. My, my ranking here is probably going to be Seoul, if not Seoul, then Tokyo, then maybe Beijing. No, it'd be Taipei, then Beijing. Or something completely different, and we're here in uh, Hanoi. But, you know what, if it was Hanoi, I'd feel there'd be more flags. That's just my, like, assumption. But, I don't know. Here's hoping. Any other plans for the week? Not much. Um... Maybe see how the rest of the uh, cider tastes. And if it ends up going bad, maybe I'll just hang around. There's still some time to make stuff with the rhubarb. You ain't, you ain't down with rhubarb. I, I don't want anything to do with you. That stuff's... I like that stuff. <clears throat> I've complained in, enough about how much respect it does not get, but whatever, different strokes, different folks. This looks... I mean, all the umbrellas here... Doesn't look particularly hot, but I also can't tell. No one needs, this isn't a high enough quote. Those almost looks like they're wearing the same outfit. It's the same people because I'm dumb. They just splice this together. Wow. What a brain I've got on me. Are they going to show up somewhere else? I guess not. Although this man has disappeared underneath this umbrella. Ooh, there's a car back here with siren. No, lights don't tell me anything. Ah, fuck, it was Tokyo. All right, fair enough. Well, that's going to do it with a lot of 50-50s. Actually, 50-50 here. I got completely wrong on this, and eh, this was one of potentially three. And I chose poorly on all the ones that I got wrong. What a surprise. Anyway. That's going to do it for Wednesday. Bit of a quick one this time. Um, I mean, if you got suggestions for maps, go ahead and put in the comments below. I will read them and do them. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, uh, other suggestions for other games, perhaps, you can go ahead and put those in the uh, comments as well. I will read them and get back to you, along with all your likes, favorites, comments, subscribes, sharings, insights, whatever you want to go ahead. Put them down there. It's an open book for everyone. But this officially ends your Wednesday. Your week is officially half done now. Congratulations. You'll have to come back Friday for the declaration of the end of your week. And then your weekend can commence. But until then, I will see you then. What a dumb ending. Either way, have a good one, folks. Goodbye.